Temple of Satanists is planning to start the first Satanic Temple chapter in Seattle. King 5's Allison Morrow shows us why they believe Western Washington would benefit from Satan. It's a ritual Lilith star practices to start meditation every morning. Ave Satanus. Hail Satan, the symbol she says saved her. I had basically given up on life. Depressed and addicted, Star tried 12-step programs. But they had this insistence that God would fix it for you. It was Satan, she says, who turned her life around, but not really Satan, just the idea. We don't believe in any supernatural beings, God or yeah. Satan. Usually the human is the center of the universe. Mark Marcooli teaches theology at Seattle University. The satanic movement is actually both a new moment and movement and an old one. He says Satan's been a symbol for centuries. Satan symbolized uh, someone who rebelled against God or the idea of God and so it was kind of a rebel with a cause. That's why Starr considers herself a Satanist, along with her husband and a handful of others who plan to start Seattle's first chapter of the Satanic Temple. These images from the National Movement's website, fighting for government recognition among more mainstream religions. We feel just as strongly about our beliefs as they do. Starr defines religion as a deeply held belief. They deeply value the individual. Satanists believe in reason, empathy, compassion, and justice, but no supernatural beings. There's a newfound uh, energy in some areas around kind of organized atheism. And the belief that science and reason and noble pursuits are the hope of all mankind. It proved to be very empowering for me. Star remembers growing up in outcast. Satanism gives her a sense of belonging, but reminds her she ultimately belongs to herself. You are the one that's empowered to change your own life, and there's nobody else that you can turn to, especially a supernatural god. Now, the Satanists plan to have their first organizing meeting at the Fremont Library in Seattle on December 7th. There is no rule book about how to run a Satanic Temple chapter meeting, so they plan to discuss what rituals they want to include, even rituals, believe it or not, like baptism. Mm -hmm. So, Allison, you have a Master's of Divinity. What do you think of this? Shouldn't they just call themselves atheists if they don't believe in anything supernatural, a supernatural being? So, of course, they do say they are atheists, but they prefer to be more rebellious, edgy uh, atheists. So they don't really participate in that mainstream type of atheism. And that's what the, the symbol mm -hmm. of Satan signifies, is this rebel and this outcast. So they feel more comfortable calling themselves Satanists than just mainstream atheists. All right. Fascinating. There's a difference there. Thank Thanks. you, Alison.